camera? Yeah, now I can see it. Wonder why it took so long. Yeah, I wonder if it's... It might be your connection. I don't know. It doesn't... Mine doesn't usually do this. This is, like, quite strange. Gotta turn it down quite a bit. It's... As low as it'll go, oh. it'll be not. But, yeah, man. I've just been working, staying busy. I didn't know if you were, uh... I knew you were taking a break for a little while from work. Well, I've actually been, uh... Job searching since uh, January of this year, so come uh, June of next month, it'll be uh, five uh, going on to five or six months now. Gotcha. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Huh. huh. The, the video is happy when it's up, but... I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, cool. So you uh, do any more reviews or anything like that on your channel? What have you been up I to? Actually, doing I gaming actually, now? I actually deleted my other one uh, last uh, November when I was being heavenly trolled at the time. Yeah. How'd that go? Did, uh, did it slow down after you... Uh, if you got rid of that, it seems to, but um, I, uh, as of right now, am not gonna be uh, doing anything on whatever my current channel is. I could send <laughs> you the link, but I uh, will is suggest it the, that. Is it the, is it the gaming channel? Uh, no, because uh, that was the one that was verified when you came in, was Gaming with Angel authenticated uh, no, with YouTube. Uh, Nah, that is one of my other uh, StreamYard account. Because you know how you can sign in through your Google? That was the first uh, account that I signed into. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's the one that StreamYard remembers you on. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. So what have you been doing for fun then, besides job searching? I've been hanging out with my brother a lot lately. That's good. What do you guys been doing? What do you guys do for fun? About um, like three or four weeks ago, earlier this month, we had actually went to Tempe Marketplace in Tempe, Arizona, and uh, Tempe uh, evening. Uh, we went to Smash Burger if you ever had them, J Jacob. And then I've never uh, had I've never had Smash Burger, but I've heard of it. Then then afterwards uh, we went to go see. Peshko, excuse me. Salute. Uh, oh, no, there, there's another one. Uh, excuse me. Um, but the other was saying, um, afterwards we went to go see the new Fall Guy movie. How was it? It was actually really interesting. Upon exiting the theater, I did my research, and it appears that the movie is based off the 1980s TV show of the same concept. Oh, okay. I mean, I've always heard about it, like the stunt guy, you know, uh, being more involved than people act like they are. I um, see, it, see it being a storyline. Well, yeah, but, I mean, it, it, I hardly ever see... Like um, the uh, stunt doubles or uh, stunt men being credited in um, movies, and a lot of times um, they uh, want to try and get actors and actresses to do their own stunt uh, within those kind of movies. I mean, it saves money if you think about it, but at the same time, uh, uh, um, uh, if they want a risk of like having a stunt double or someone else doing the uh, actor slash actress on stunts, it makes sense to have that kind of uh, person. Yeah. Did you end up? Uh, did you end up catching my uh, show last night? Is that why you yeah. messaged me? Yeah. Yeah. So you get to see Herman. Yeah, I love him. Miss him, to be quite honest. You missed him? Yeah, I miss him. Yeah. True. I miss him, too. Hopefully, he's going to be unblocking people soon and talking to everybody again. 
um, uh, uh, like, uh, did he explain like why you did that to a lot of people? Um, he just said he was going through some stuff. He didn't uh, really even, yeah, we didn't even really talk about that much offline. Um, uh, yeah, well, he, was, miss- he was kind of private about it. Well, I do miss him, uh, though. Yeah. No, it's good seeing him pop in. Good, good. I, I'm glad we got an update to know he's okay and everything, you know? Yeah. You gotta appreciate the small things, if that's all people will give you. I mean, I miss his, like, uh, smiley face, and I miss his uh, hair and the way that he looks, because Herman uh, had one of the most interesting, like, faces I had ever seen of uh, people when I first uh, met him about, like, five or six years ago, Jacob. Yeah, Herman's an interesting fellow. He's, uh... He's very, he's very forward for somebody that's shy. He's got a very interesting personality because he takes, he takes a lot of risks mentally, but then a lot of things scare him mentally. It's uh Herman's an interesting fellow. I, uh, I like, I like Herman. Yeah. Herman's a good friend of mine and he's my boyfriend and he deserted me and blocked me on my Facebook. Trump will not be arrested. Well, no, he'll probably just turn himself in if he gets accused of anything. He's never, like, ran from the cops or anything. He's got no reason to leave or do anything crazy. He could get elected. He could get elected from prison. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. I don't think... I was actually talking about this Canadian. I actually think it's going to, if anything, benefit his... Uh, his whole thing, it's not going to hurt him in any way. I think he's going to get more the, posts now. There's actually, there's actually been a lot of posts on social media that saying that the uh, Donald Trump's uh, donation campaign page is like crashed or is uh, like not loading. And I think when this uh, whole verdict was first uh, announced, um, uh, people had started to donate to him uh, like crazy, yeah. which explains why uh, the site is not as operative as it normally would be. Because when you start getting like donations um, uh, off the wazoo out of uh, at a higher percentage than normal, then that kind of stuff will have an effect. Yeah, or they'll pull it. Sometimes they'll pull, uh, depending on if it's like a GoFundMe or some weird shit, um, depending on the companies that are running that stuff, like hopefully Trump runs it himself, the the, the donation campaign. side. It's not, it wouldn't be through campaign stuff because he couldn't, he couldn't use campaign stuff for legal matters. Yeah, I know that. I'm just thinking because he, he wouldn't be able to use campaign money, so it would have to be some donation somehow and like i remember when um when kyle rittenhouse was getting ready to go to court um they started a gofundme for him and gofundme blocked all the gofundmes for kyle rittenhouse i heard about that yeah and then he was found i I don't remember if the case was dropped or if he was found innocent uh he was Um, uh, acquitted uh in like the fall of 2021 uh, later on um, the jury ended up uh, uh, finding him not guilty on all the counts that he would had tried to uh, be charged for uh, uh, because yeah. he, they ended up finding that uh, he uh, did his whole thing in self-defense. I, uh, I get it because uh, I, I just thought, it would have been a, I remember thinking at the time that, because I remember, God, I remember the defense attorney. God, he was so wild. Or no, the, the prosecuting attorney. The, the prosecuting attorney or the uh, other, uh, like, side. Not, I know which one, uh, but there there's so many names for the other side when you ain't the defense, um, the plaintiff slash prosecutor. Yeah, I think, because uh, I think Kyle's side, Kyle's side would have been the defense. 
Yeah, I think Kyle the, Brandt would have been to the fence because anytime like you you um have to go to court, there's always the plaintiff and the defendant. Um, so and the defendant is always the one that is being uh, charged slash prosecuted by the uh, plaintiff. Um, imagine a criminal court being like a small claims court, where, but uh, even though they're told two totally different systems. They all have the same process of the deliberating yeah. a, a person while one has just gavels, the other brings a jury if needed. But at the end of it, like, uh, I know what you're talking about, Jacob. But yeah, the the, uh, the only difference in small claims court is, is it's usually based on the money amount. I think it's less than 500 or something like that. Yeah. I don't remember what it is. Some small. And the only reason they take lawyers out and let you defend yourself in most small claims courts is because lawyers fees getting involved in small claims court doesn't make any sense you'd just be wasting too much money and you probably better yeah. off just going to court but um yeah there, i just remember him uh he was doing some demonstration with a rifle and he had his finger on the trigger it was the wildest yeah. shit i had ever seen and i'm like what is this guy doing like <laughs> like uh, i'll tell yeah. you this I when when everything was going down as soon as he uh, as Kyle Rittenhouse had to go to trial, I followed that case from many outlets of both sides, and I uh, was like laughing my ass off and sorry about my language, but I uh, was laughing hysterically when the whole uh, prosecution side of things, and um, I think uh, his last name was Biggs. Um, I forgot his last name, but I remember his uh, last name being uh, B I G G S, uh, Mr. Biggs. Um, he he uh, like did the whole hand uh, uh, gesture of uh, holding a rifle just to, as a demonstration, uh, trying to prove what Kyle Rittenhouse did to try to get prosecuted. But that was so hilarious uh, that people ended up memeing that uh, image uh, like crazy. Oh yeah, Kyle. Well, Kyle uh, crying on stand. That one got memed more than anything. Like that's everybody thought people, his his cry was fake or something like that. That's what a lot of people know. are saying. But um, I uh, the, there are actually forms of crying where no tears are actually uh, produced. Well, and also I, I couldn't imagine being what was he seventeen, eighteen year old on the stand in the, the time, whole fucking yeah. world, and the whole world's watching, like. That's insane to think about, like the kind of pressure that's on you to say the right thing or just say what happened, like whatever. It's just a lot of pressure. I uh, I couldn't imagine being on the stand in front of that many people, especially if I was guilty of some shit. And <laughs> you want to know the difference between um, the the trial that Trump had just went through and the one that Kyle Rittenhouse is that one case uh, was live stream while the other w other wasn't the entire time because I remember Kyle Rittenhouse case being live streamed many times uh, by both sides of the aisle of politics, uh, Jacob. And I think uh, the, during this one with Ch Trump, there wasn't as many live streams as there actually were no, for I mean, Kyle. No, but there is, there is, I think they had cameras in the courtroom for Kyle's. So, I mean, and that's something they just started doing on big public cases, which is, which is wild. I think it's kind of wild, but I guess it, it, it shows a level of accountability too. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Ghost. I think, uh, I think Trump is going to 